Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Life Stripes with Kathy and Duke. So the question is, how is your relationship doing during this social distancing? As you can see, Duke and I are not together doing our episode today because we are respecting social distancing and we hope that you are too. However, for all of you couples who are living together and or not living together, how is your relationship doing? This is the question. And uh, I think we're here to offer a little bit of advice. So from the couples that I have spoken to, and Duke, you're, I know you're gonna chime in just now and, uh, and give your, your opinion but um, first I want to say you know listen there are couples who are living together in complete peace and complete harmony and I know there are couples who are living apart in complete peace and harmony so for those of you who are living together and whether or not you have children working on a schedule on a plan where you can do some work because I know a lot of you are working from home and also spending some great quality time together is an amazing thing for your relationship. Uh, communication above anything else, whether you whether it's good or bad, I think that communication in the household, uh, whether you're living together or not, to be honest with you, is everything. Communication, communication, communication. And it's not always easy, people. We know this, and yet we still must do it. And it's a choice as to whether or not the communication is going to be effective or ineffective. So you decide. Uh, but Duke, what do you think about couples who are living together peacefully and how they are dealing with social isolation? I, I mean, I think it's great, man. I mean, I'm seeing videos out there. I'm seeing videos out there of couples uh, doing a lot of TikTok, doing a lot of things that, you know, they're enabling themselves to enjoy, just to enjoy the situation, enjoy the time together and enjoy, really enjoy the downtime um, and uh, getting to find themselves again. Right. Because, I mean, um, before all of this, you know, we had our busy lives. Everybody goes to work, come home, uh, take care of the kids or, you know, do other things. And then you go to bed and it's the same old routine. But right now it's like you're finding you're finding more time to uh, find each other. Yeah. Now that could be a good thing and that could be a bad thing. I mean, for some people, you know, you, you your, your partner may get on your nerves a little bit because that's there's too much time. But if you're making it work, good on you, man. Good on you to make it work. That's pretty much what you should be doing. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, I think it's a good time. It's a good time for for these couples because it really does give them an opportunity to connect, yes. And, um, you know, playing games, date night, include the kids, make up a schedule that works for you guys, take great walks, yeah, 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 all of that great stuff. It's amazing, and it's going to do nothing but benefit your relationship in the long run. So take advantage of this time, absolutely. This is this is This is beautiful for your relationship. And for those couples who are not not doing so well. They haven't been doing well before social isolation and this just really magnified how much they probably don't get along and or probably don't need to be together. So if you're in separation mode, divorce, divorce mode, um, you know, this is this is hard. This is a challenging time and I get it. I have been uh, working with some people who are going through separations and are living together and how they're dealing with it. It's not easy. You know, everybody has to hold their corner and everybody has to figure out a way to maneuver around their children and once again communication communication is going to be the highlight here uh, it's going to be tough but it has to happen you have to work out schedules you have to work out how you're going to deal with the kids um, you have to work out how you're going to communicate with each other when it comes to meal time and spare time uh, whether it's TV time or whatever the case may be but either way you have to communicate um, so, Duke, what do you think about that for couples who are not getting along and haven't been getting along? What do you think um, is some great, great advice for them? For couples that are not getting along, honestly, use this time um, that you have in social isolation to um, have deep, really conversations about what is really what is really bothering you in your relationship. Like get to yeah. the underlining root of the issue. Right. Use that time to communicate well, have um yeah. good conversations and maybe during this time you can reinvent your relationship you can um, add some spark to it by doing some fun things together right so yeah. all's not lost yeah. um and if it doesn't work it doesn't work but at least you tried and this time i find that it, it's giving a lot of people time to think and to really see what's important in life right so all of the things that we 
we did normally that were maybe materialistic things or things that we could just do because we could do it. We had the freedom to do it. Now you're really soul like doing that deep down soul search within yourself to, to realize and to point out what's really important to you. So uh, that would be my advice is to do a deep soul search, talk to each other and get to the root of the issue. If you can't fix it, then at least you tried. And, and so for those of you who are also in relationships, but you don't live together, so it's you're in a long distance relationship, um, how is this impacting your relationship? So whether you live in the same city, don't live in the same city, but you can't see each other because you do have two completely different households um, and you've been dating or whatever the situation may be, how are you guys dealing with this? Uh, I know from uh, from my perspective in terms of the people that I've definitely spoken to, you know, it's been a time where people can, can really be honest with themselves and with their partners. Um, and some people are finding that they don't have as much in common as they think they did uh, and this is this is what needs to happen you know we're, we're at a time in our lives where and you're gonna hear me say this a lot it's a reset year so you know you might have started dating someone whether it's because of an online relationship or someone you may have met in passing and you decided to to date them and now that you're in quarantine or sorry you're doing social isolation uh, you're not able to spend as much time with them and us having busy busy lives and constantly planning date nights and you know movie nights and all that stuff because we can't do that and if you don't live with someone, um, how are you dealing with it? It really is about communication. Again, communication, being open, being honest. Um, there are a couple of surveys uh, that I've seen online, actually. Uh, I think there's one called 16 Personalities and also Love Languages. Duke and I, right, Duke? We, we spoke about Love Languages. Um, where people can take these surveys and you can share them with each other and really just kind of get to know a little bit more about yourself and about the potential partner that you have um, or and or your partner who you are not living with. So these are some really fun things that you can do. Of course, you can always be on video chat like we all can and, you know, have a date night and have great conversations where you can see each other and still 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 stay connected. But really, it's about getting down and dirty with the truth about who you are, what you want, what the, what your partner wants. Can you give it to each other? Can you compromise? Um, and dur especially during this very difficult time. We're old school, right, Duke? I think we're, we're going back to old school where you actually have to I don't know talk <laughs> who knew what do you think my thoughts for people who are not living with a partner try to do more um, networking through uh, what do you call it live chats or sorry video chats yeah. uh, maybe on zoom or FaceTime or whatsapp and just maybe have virtual dates or something like that you know put on something nice grab a, a glass of wine and and mm -hmm. um, have a romantic dinner date virtually so uh, there's still things that you can do to spark up your relationship and and for those of you who are in new relationships that you may have found you know just before um, social distancing became an issue or became a thing um, you know I want to know how you guys are doing how are those particular relationships holding up? I haven't really spoken to anybody. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. I have spoken to someone who is in a new relationship and she is doing fabulous because all they really have had is communication on the phone. They haven't really spent a lot of time together and it's working out infamously. So I'm so proud of her. I won't give any names, but you know, they're, they're getting to know each other on an extremely deeper level and I respect it immensely. They did meet online and um, you know, I think there's a lot of the, the online dating world is about to go up exponentially in numbers. No shame in that. You know, it's amazing. It's a beautiful thing. I know a lot of couples who um, have gotten married from it, stayed together. I also know some who haven't stayed together and it's okay. Listen, it, it could happen to anybody, right? So as we know, ha, me as an example. And, um, and it's okay. It's okay. As long as you are communicating. That's the theme I think today, right, Duke? I think, I think communication is everything. Uh, whether you are in a new relationship, in uh, a relationship that you're, where you're living together and it works, or if you're in a relationship and you're living together and it doesn't work um, and it hasn't been working, still communication at this point in time is paramount. So take an opportunity to dig deep, be about love, just be about love and everything you do be about love because this is going to last for quite a while and in this reset year I hope that we are all able to to look at ourselves in a different light you know life isn't forever life is very short um, these relationships are not going to be forever you know at some point one of us is gonna go and we want to make the best of our time while we have it 
And this is the time to really just reevaluate who we are, who we're choosing to be with, why we're choosing to be with them, and make it about love. And sometimes the relationships won't last the test of time, and it's okay. It's okay. Let's just be honest with ourselves and let's start communicating. Duke, final words from you. I would say just to continue doing what you're doing if it's working. And uh, if, if things are not working or you're finding, you know, you're, you're bored at home or, you know, you guys are not really uh, finding exciting things to do, then try karaoke. I mean, singing is always fun and it always gets people to smile and stuff like that. So it doesn't matter if you're a good or, or a bad singer. Try some karaoke, man. Just get that music flowing uh, in the household and get, every, get, get everybody to get up and dance. That, that always brings a smile to my face. So, um Guys, it's been great. Thank you for, for watching. It's a it's a Monday uh, afternoon. Life Stripes, Kathy and Duke. Please click on the bell, subscribe, like, and uh, we'll be back next week with another episode. Stay tuned.